And I want to show you just really quickly how easily these jams can come off. So I've got this finger right here I'm going to redo. I'm going to peel. I'm breaking the seal with my nail. I'm just peeling around the cuticle. So that break it's like, you now. am I breaking my nail? Is that sad, Cameron? Yes. Yeah, it's sad. And now I'm going to take my mini heater. I'm going to turn it on. It's real nice and quiet. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm sticking, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm sticking my finger in front of it and just letting it heat a little bit. I'm just letting it warm, get, get the adhesive really warm. I'm going to do that for a minute. And I'm going to take, this is... Are you getting your blankie warm? That's a very helpful camera. This is coconut oil that I've used. You can get it really anywhere. Most places have coconut oil now because it's the end thing. All the cool kids are doing it. Um, I'm going to take coconut oil and I'm going to take just a little bit, just a little bit, and I'm going to rub it into my cuticles. And it's since it's already hot, it's just like liquefying. You don't have to use coconut oil. You can use olive oil. You can use rubbing alcohol. Um, I like coconut oil because it, it just works really well getting the adhesive off. So I'm going to kind of heat again and I'm just massaging. All I'm doing, let's see if I can get it where you can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is I'm just massaging. I'm kind of picking at it and pulling at it and rubbing it off. Play your face it. No, don't play with it. Now, the thing is, you can pull these things off real fast and in a hurry. You have to fight yourself to not do that because if you do that, you're going to damage your nail. You want to make yourself take time and really gently remove. Cleaned my nail. I have trimmed the jam to the right size while it's still on the backing. I have also applied a strengthening base coat just because I like it for extra adhesive effect. Here's my jam. I'm going to heat it with the adhesive side facing the mini heater. By the way, don't touch the adhesive side with your fingers. It will get oil on it and it won't work. And I'm going to apply it. Okay, I tug and then I tug on the other side and I'm kind of pressing, tugging. And now I'm going to take my rubber cuticle pusher. I'm going to press around my cuticles. Tie one more time just for good measure. Okay, now I'm going to flip it back. Trim it. And I'm going to take my plastic baggie and I'm going to wrap it around my finger and hold it really tight and hold that in front of the mini heater. Makes it almost um, shrink wrapped to the tip. Okay, so when I'm applying my jams, I start pinkies and I work my way to my thumbs. And then when I get all the way done applying my jams, then I go back and file because I really want my jam to have a good chance to cool down. So I've let this jam that I applied for you cool really well. Actually, I stuck it down in some ice water just because I am impatient. So, I'm going to file it. I've got a metal file here you can use just as long as it's a good file. doesn't really matter as long as it's a good file. If it's a dull file, it's just not going to work. Okay, or you're going to be doing this for a very long time. Um, and I'm just not patient. Okay, so as I'm filing, you can kind of see it's coming off really easily. I'm going in a downward motion at just a little bit of an angle. Um, and the reason that I'm angling like this is because I want there to be the tiniest gap where you can see my nail at the tips and this will prevent my um, my tips from coming up. That is really, since I've learned this trick, my tips very rarely um, start to separate where the jam is. So I just file and I'm kind of rubbing to make sure I've got all the stuff off and it's done. Can I? I can't get it. There we go. So that's my jam. There's you can kind of see the tip if I like do like that. Um, you just want a yeah, little gap. Okay.
That's how I put my jams on. Thank you for jamming with us. I hope you had fun. And if you ever have any questions in the future, give me a buzz. Give me a buzz, too.